Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Emma Borders and today I wanted to take you on my journey of creating my own original arrangement of Annie's song. If you have not seen that video, I will put it in the description below. So go check that out. I thought it would be fun to kind of take you behind the scenes of what it's like for me learning this song, recording this song, you know, arranging the song, recording the video, all the editing that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into creating something, especially when I'm playing with myself. It's a little bit hard to do that. And so, yeah, hopefully you find this interesting, entertaining. It's going to be a little bit different than my normal video style, but hopefully you enjoy it. So let's get into it. This arrangement was super fun for me to create. Maybe my favorite arrangement that I've done so far. And I'd say it took me about two and a half months total, um, but not all of that was work. I mean, I, I started recording, it started the arrangement in the very beginning of February, but I recorded it and then there a couple, maybe a month went by month and a half or so when I didn't do anything on it because I was waiting for springtime when I would film the video. Here's a little clip of me explaining the very beginning stages of this arrangement. The first stage of creating my own original arrangement is to find the chords, which sometimes is a lot easier than others. But this specific song, Annie's song, I did look it up online, wanted to see if there was a free, easy chord chart that I could just go off of. However, there was not for this song. Sometimes you will find songs online that have the chords, but I'm just gonna be honest, a lot of the times those are not correct. So I've seen so many songs online that say that they have the right chords, but they're not actually correct. So what I like to do is just go straight from the original recording. I sit here and I listen to it and I jot down all of the chords, trying to be as specific as possible to the original recording. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, I just finished writing down all the chords. So now the next step is I start thinking through what I want the arrangement to sound like, what instruments I want, what roadmap I want, um, which it's kind of funny because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But right now I'm thinking, I'm thinking octave mandolin for the chords and then maybe either violin or mandolin on melody. I need to use violin somewhere, but I don't know because there's a beautiful instrumental part kind of with an orchestra, but I don't know if I want to do just violin or do multiple parts on violin. We'll figure that out. But I know that I want the background chords on the octave mandolin. So that means that I have to adapt the guitar part to the octave mandolin, which thankfully in this song, I don't think is going to be too difficult. But what I do have to do is I have to go through and figure out what chord shapes I'm going to use, what chord forms I'm going to use, if I can do the walk-ups because, you know, guitar has six strings, mandolin only has four, which is a little bit of a disadvantage because you have to figure out there's just some things that you just can't do. So that's what I'm about to do is kind of figure out what chord shapes I want to use and all that good stuff. out the chords and know what I want to what instrument I want to lay down first that is when I start to record and for this song I recorded the octave mandolin first because it was the chord progression and then I recorded the mandolin part it's my least favorite part of recording tuning I think in total there are maybe four mandolin parts on this song so there's a lot of mandolins stacked and you'll kind of hear them. One mandolin's doing chords, one's doing melody, one's doing harmony to the melody, and then there's a mandolin solo, which has two mandolin parts. So yeah, they're just kind of all thrown in there. I did not write those out. I just came up with those on the spot. And then for the strings, I decided that I wanted to have a couple different violin parts. I think there were four 
in total. For those, I did use Finale to go in and write out every single part so that I could go and read those parts and make sure that they're stacked correctly, I'm playing the right notes, have all those written out because it'd be really hard for me to come up with those on the spot and remember what part was doing was doing what. So I wrote all of those out first, then went and recorded them. I did record Shaker on this as well. You'll That's in the background, but you'll hear that. And then I ended up wanting to add Mando Cello in there as well, which you will see in the video. Mando Cello is the biggest one. It looks very similar to the octave mandolin, but it's a little bit bigger. I added that basically doing what the octave mandolin is doing, but more of a bass. So it, it made the arrangement feel more final because I used it to add the bass part and I finger picked that as well. I use Logic to record everything and to edit all of my audio. So after I've recorded everything, I go in, you know, and I comp everything. I make sure the volumes are sounding good, make sure that I like how it's sounding, and if I need to go back and re-record anything. And thankfully this part doesn't take too long. So I, I did all of that and then it was time to wait because I wanted a really pretty video and I just could not imagine doing a video inside or doing a video outside when everything was dead. And so April came, everything turned green and I actually filmed the video just in our backyard, which is a blessing. I think it, 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 it turned out really well. And thankfully I had my sister Eloise, she was able to help me film, which was super helpful. So she, she did all the camera work, all the lighting work, and all I had to do was sit there sit there and play my instruments to the audio that I had already recorded. Okay, so it is, wow, the sun is really bright. <laughs> it is currently, currently 7.35 a.m. I'm just now getting around to filming the final video, video, man, I can't talk this morning, the final video for Annie's song. Honestly, with this video, I'm not even sure what I'm going for. <laughs> like, I, I'm just trying to it's more about the music than anything. I just kind of want it to be pretty and uh, chill outside. And I'm just going to do shots of me playing the different instruments. So hopefully it turns out okay. I kind of always film and then I'm like, well, I don't know if it's going to turn out good or not. But that's, that's kind of the, the fun of it. <laughs> So I actually recorded, I don't know, maybe pretty, yeah, four violin parts, maybe five for a, for harmony for a section. But the thing is, I don't actually have them all memorized. So I have the music out here, but of course, if you're a musician and, you, and you've ever played a wedding outside or tried to have music outside, the wind is always such a big problem. So this is what it looks like right now as we're <laughs> trying to keep the music down so I can see it. And the, the shot that my sister is getting. She's getting up close so you can't actually see that I'm reading the music. I hope it doesn't look like I'm reading the music. It might. Who, oh well. <laughs> I can't, I can't memorize it all. The final step, of course, in this process is editing the video. I use Premiere Pro to edit and so after filming I edited it maybe in two days or something like that so that I could get it out to you guys and I was super, super happy with how it turned out. So yeah, that is basically my whole process from start to finish. There are, you know, other kind of details, but this is an overview of that process. It's how, how I work. Other people might do it very differently from me, but this is how, this is how I, I, I go about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button below, that would, that would be great. And I will see you in my next video.